Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing System Test 60. Let's get started. So for our first pull station, this is a Firelight BG6. Um, it's an older model, as you can see. It's completely metal. It's actually pretty fat. It's very heavy as well. As you can see on the top, the original hex screw is missing, but I have this uh, machine screw that actually fits perfectly and does the job. So that's why it's there. Um, over here, I have a Firelight, not Firelight, uh, FCI MS6. Uh, I don't know if you can tell because of the sunlight. It's very, very bright outside, but this is a uh, first gen, yeah, first gen MS6. The first generation uh, is slightly different from the second gen. As you can see, this is a second generation. You can see the fire lettering is uh, thinner, and also the color is a little bit uh, more dark i'd say this is like kind of a uh it's like almost orange uh so yeah over here we have a uh 5600 series heat detector and then this is a i3 i still haven't changed these which i really should but honestly i don't really collect smoke detectors as much as i do actual alarms so yeah over here we have the carbon monoxide setup as usual here, actually, which is the spicy part of the board, we have a Wheelock uh, thingy. This is a Bell strobe. Um, same series as the 7002T. This is the same strobe as them. Uh, it's just a little different. Uh, it just says Wheelock at the bottom. Um, this bell is very, very loud. It's a motor bell, and you can see it's unmarked. But I got this for a killer deal on eBay. I paid $20 free shipping for the entire combo, so I just said, screw it, I'll buy it. Over here, this is a Potter signaling bell. As you can see down here, this is actually a Cerberus Pyrotronic strobe plate. This is originally a wheel lock one, so that's why it's with the wheel lock theme. And then this is just a 12 volt bell. And you're probably going to be wondering, oh my gosh, how the heck are you using a 12 volt bell on a 4 24 volt system without cooking the whole thing? That's not up to code. I'm going to have to call the AHJ on you, yada. Okay, so I'll explain right now. As you can see, this cord is plugged into the uh, outlet thing on my board. And then if we go back here, it actually goes to this transformer. That transformer then goes to this relay you always hear clicking on the back, which then powers this 12 volt bell. This relay is also connected to the NAC, so that's why this bell will also be coded along with that bell. Before we start, I have to get hearing protection because of how loud these things are. All right, three, two, one. As you can see, they are very, very loud. Um, it literally vibrates the floor. I don't know if you can see, but when I first activated the alarm, the panel was like bouncing up and down to the march time pattern. Um, so yeah, originally I was just gonna silence the system, but I decided to do a far away shot. So now let's do the, actually no, let's just reset the pole station first. So actually I can just do this with my hand and then I just retighten it, and then we'll reset and set the system on code three because that's what bells are usually set on. All the Canadians just got happy. Just kidding. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and reset this before I forget. This just takes the standard SCI PK625 key. As you can see, it's a little stiff. Yeah, it is pretty stiff. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's that. Let's do the carbon monoxide setup. Alright, whatever, there's nothing really special there, so again, let's just go ahead and do the heat detect- well, smoke detector.
Yeah, there you go. As you can see again, these are very, very, very loud. The camera probably doesn't do much justice, but like when I'm standing on the floor, I can quite literally feel the vibration. But yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say. I guess I could uh, do something else. Yeah. So I've gone ahead and taken off the gongs for these bells just to show you how a bell works. So as you can see, this is all cast aluminum and this little uh, metal striker, it comes down and keeps hitting the bell. Same here, this comes down and hits it. So I can go ahead and show you how that works now without the gong. There you go. As you can see, it is quite, uh, it's pretty fun to do that. I guess it's not really good for the bell if you keep pressing on it like that, but it's still fun. So yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, I didn't reset the pull station.